America's decades-long air dominance, built on the back of cutting-edge stealth jets like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, is now under imminent threat. Once thought untouchable, their invisibility is being challenged by a technological breakthrough from Beijing. The KJ-3000 is China's latest airborne early warning and control aircraft, a technological powerhouse designed to rewrite the rules of modern warfare in the Pacific. With a conformal radar system capable of detecting stealth aircraft over 360 kilometers away, the Airborne Command Center doesn't just track targets, it analyzes, predicts, and coordinates real-time land and air operations. The KJ-3000 can simultaneously track up to 100 targets, transforming China's air defense into a force that threatens to nullify America's stealth advantage entirely. At the heart of this rivalry lies Taiwan, a flashpoint where this advanced system may tip the balance of power. Although publicly available information on the KJ-3000 is limited, whispers from intelligence circles suggest it may be capable of far more than we've seen. The question isn't just whether America can maintain its edge, it's whether it even knows what it's up against. China's unveiling of the KJ-3000 sent shockwaves through the global defense community. For months, Western intelligence agencies and analysts have been scrutinizing grainy, leaked photos of an unfamiliar aircraft. When Beijing officially confirmed the existence of the KJ-3000 in late 2024, it became clear that this was a transformative leap in technology. The centerpiece of this advanced surveillance warplane is its conformal antenna radar system, which allows the radar to be integrated directly into the aircraft structure, similar to the iconic American E3 Sentry. This eliminates the aerodynamic drag caused by traditional rotating radar domes while providing seamless 360-degree situational awareness. With the ability to detect stealth aircraft at ranges exceeding 360 kilometers, the KJ-3000 represents a direct challenge to the operational dominance of U.S. stealth platforms like the F-22 and F-35. The KJ-3000's radar system is enhanced with a technology called Digital Phased Array. This feature allows the aircraft to track up to 100 targets simultaneously. All of the acquired targets are then prioritized, and military responses are coordinated in real time. With the ability to detect targets over long distances and handle multiple objectives at once, the KJ-3000 outperforms earlier Chinese systems like the KJ-2000 and many ground-based radars. Its improved capabilities make it nearly impossible for even the most advanced stealth aircraft to go unnoticed. The KJ-3000's remarkable radar technology is supported by the capable Y-20B airframe, a domestically developed aircraft capable of carrying up to 66 tons, 16 tons more than its predecessor, the KJ-2000. The Y-20B provides the operational range and endurance necessary for sustained missions across the Pacific theater. Equipped with Shenyang WS-20 high-bypass turbofan engines, the warplane has more thrust and better fuel efficiency than its predecessors. This setup increases the aircraft's range and allows it to stay in contested airspace longer. What truly sets the KJ-3000 apart is its role as a flying command center. Fully connected to China's military network, it coordinates air, land, and sea operations while delivering real-time intelligence to J-20 fighter jets, naval ships, and ground forces. This capability makes the KJ-3000 the core of a military system designed to excel in modern warfare. Its debut sends a clear message. Beijing is ready to challenge U.S. dominance in the skies. For years, high-tech warplanes like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II have ruled the skies dominating airspace with their stealthy designs that make them nearly invisible to radar. These aircraft have been the backbone of U.S. air superiority. With the highly anticipated deployment of the B-21 Raider strategic bomber, the U.S. aimed to lock in this advantage. However, what makes the KJ-3000 an existential threat is that it's equipped with cutting-edge radar technology that can reportedly pick up even the smallest radar cross-sections, the very thing that makes stealth aircraft so effective. Traditionally, American stealth jets exploit blind spots in enemy radar systems, sneaking in undetected to take out high-value targets. The KJ-3000, however, wipes out those blind spots. With its advanced conformal radar system and phased array tech, 
It can potentially track stealth aircraft from distances so far that dodging detection becomes impossible. This takes away the element of surprise that stealth technology has historically offered, leaving U.S. assets exposed and forced to operate under constant watch. What makes things even scarier is that the KJ-3000 might be more than just a detection powerhouse. There are credible, although unconfirmed, rumors that it's packing electromagnetic attack capabilities. If true, such weapons could disrupt electronic systems on U.S. aircraft, from communications to navigation and even the avionics that keep them in the air. This tech could cause widespread chaos across military operations, leaving the U.S. scrambling in high-pressure situations. The Pacific Theater is where the KJ-3000 poses the most significant challenge, especially in a potential showdown over Taiwan. In such a scenario, U.S. forces would face the nightmare of operating in airspace under the watchful eye of the KJ-3000. This system would not only cripple the advantage of stealth aircraft, it would also coordinate with the People's Liberation Army's broader defense networks, creating a tightly integrated system of spatial awareness and response. In short, the KJ-3000 doesn't just complicate things for U.S. forces. It demands a complete rethink of how stealth aircraft operate in contested environments. The era of American air superiority may be coming to an abrupt end, and the U.S. military has some tough decisions to make if it wants to stay ahead of these sudden changes. Tensions over Taiwan are hitting an all-time high. For Beijing, the island is not just about getting more territory. It's about cementing its dominance in the Pacific and solidifying its claim as a superpower. The KJ-3000 gives China a massive advantage, bolstering its control over the skies above the Taiwan Strait. For the U.S. and its allies, any intervention in the region now carries an enormous level of risk. The KJ-3000's ability to detect and neutralize stealth aircraft strikes throws a wrench into plans for any kind of military response to Chinese aggression under current U.S. strategies. But the KJ-3000 isn't a standard piece of equipment. It's part of a much bigger picture. It works in tandem with other advanced systems, like the recently developed J-20 stealth fighters, J-16 multi-role jets, and the soon-to-be-deployed Type 76 assault carriers. Connected by the KJ-3000, these assets come together in an intricate, layered defense network that stretches across land, sea, and air. It's a large-scale setup that significantly enhances China's ability to project power throughout the East and South China Seas. As for the U.S. and its allies, this situation presents a serious hurdle, especially for the Indo-Pacific Command's mission of keeping international waters open for navigation at all times. By demonstrating such advanced technology, China is essentially telling the West they have successfully closed the gap and are ready to challenge the long-standing status quo in the region with its cutting-edge systems. The challenge goes far beyond the American military. Regional allies like Japan and South Korea are also feeling the pressure. For decades, they have relied heavily on the U.S. to provide air superiority and a security umbrella, which has often resulted in underinvestment in their own defense capabilities. The emergence of the KJ-3000 has begun to unsettle this long-standing confidence. What happens if America can no longer ensure air supremacy in the Western Pacific Ocean? If stealth combat aircraft technology is nullified, how will these nations ensure their safety in the long run? Dwindling confidence in American military power in the Western Pacific could have severe consequences, like shifts in alliances or military strategies. This uncertainty risks making the Pacific region even more unpredictable and fragile as nations reassess how best to ensure their own survival. The KJ-3000's state-of-the-art radar, extended operational range, and seamless integration into a multi-domain military network give China the ability to defy U.S. air projection. China's ability to domestically produce the KJ-3000 at scale adds to the challenge, creating the potential for a fleet that could saturate contested regions. It's been suggested that to keep its edge when it comes to air supremacy, the United States has to act now by strengthening its presence in the Pacific and reinforcing alliances. At the same time, investments in cutting-edge counter-radar systems, electronic warfare capabilities, and next-generation air platforms are critical to staying ahead. Failing to act now could allow the KJ-3000 to erode American air superiority, 
potentially shifting global power dynamics in Beijing's favor.